गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल एट योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल विज्ञान विहान दिस इज अवर प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर जनरल एप्टीट्यूड पार्ट ए ऑफ यूजीसी सी एस आई आर नेट इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल सोल्व प्रॉब्लम नंबर इलेवन टू फिफ्टीन ऑफ मैथमेटिकल साइंसेज पेपर डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन दिस प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशन सीरीज विल हेल्प यू टू अटेम्प्ट जनरल एप्टीट्यूड प्रॉब्लम विद एफिशियंसी एंड एक्यूरेसी इट विल बी एन एडवांटेज for you to get the better score and higher rank so keep practicing i wish you all the best for your exam let's start the solution here friends the first problem of this episode problem number 11 what is the volume of soil in an open pit of size 2 meter by 2 meter by 10 cm option 1 40 meter cube option 2 0.4 meter cube option 3 0 meter cube option 4 4.0 meter cube Here is the first problem problem number 11 what is the volume of soil in an open pit of size 2 meter by 2 meter by 10 cm we notice here here are units in meter and meter but here it is in cm in the given four options all four options have the unit in meter cube so first we will have to change the cm in meter but we know that 1 cm is equals to 10 to the power minus 2 meter then the volume of a rectangular pit would be length multiply with breadth and multiply with height that is 2 meter by 2 meter multiply it with 10 cm but the cm will be changed in meter with the multiplication factor 10 to the power minus 2 in meter that would be 4 meter square multiply it with 10 to the power minus 1 in meter so it would be 0.4 meter cube the volume of the pit that's why the soil in this pit would be same 0.4 meter cube so correct answer of this problem is option Two zero point four meter cube. Problem number twelve. For which value of a and b is sine a is equals to cot b? Option one a is equals to b is equals to zero. Option two a is equals to b is equals to pi by two. Option three a is equals to zero. B is equals to pi by two. Option four a is equals to pi by two. B is equals to zero. friends here is the next problem problem number 12 in this problem we will have to find out the values of a and b when sin a would be equal to cot b in this given problem there are given four options if i check from the first option a is equals to b is equals to 0 for a is equals to 0 sin a value is 0 but if b also is 0 then cot b value would be equal to what it is infinite so the given condition of the problem is not satisfied by the option 1 so it may not be our correct answer a is equals to b is equals to pi by 2 a value is pi by 2 b value is also pi by 2 for pi by 2 value on a sin a would be 1 but For pi by 2 value, cot b would be equal to zero. So here also the given condition sine a is equal to cot b is not satisfied. So option two is also may not be correct. For the third option, a value is equal to zero, but b value is equal to pi by 2. Cot pi by 2 value is zero. We know it. Sine zero value is zero. So here sin a value is equals to cot b so it is our correct answer so the correct answer of this problem is option 3 a is equals to 0 and b is equals to pi by 2 problem number 13 for which one of the following statements is the converse is not true option 1 if a patient dies even with a excellent medical care he likely had terminal illness option 2 if a person gets employed he has good qualifications option 
if an integer is even it is divisible by 2 option 4 if an integer is odd it is not divisible by 2 friends here is the next problem problem number 13 in this problem we will have to find out such an statement from the given four options that's converse may not be true so first we read the given four options in option 3 if an integer is even it is divisible by 2 it's converse if some integer is divisible by 2 that is an even number so it's converse also is true but question is asking converse not true so option 3 may not be a correct answer for this problem option 4 if an integer is odd it is not divisible by 2 it's converse if some number is not divisible by 2 it is an odd integer so option 4 is also true and its converse also true but in this problem this option may not be our right answer now read the option one if a patient dies even with excellent medical care he likely had terminal illness that's true but it's converse if a patient has terminal illness he will die even with excellent medical care that is also true statement but in this problem we will have to find out such a statement that converse is not true so option 1 is also may not be our answer remaining option option number 2 if a person gets employed he has good qualification that's right but it's converse if a person has good qualification it is not necessary that he gets an employment so converse of this statement is not always true so our answer of this problem is option 2 problem number 14 four small squares of side x are cut out from a square of side 12 cm to make a tray by folding the edges what is the value of x so that the tray has the maximum volume option 1 6 cm option 2 2 cm option 3 3 cm option 4 4 cm friends here is the next problem problem number 14 in this problem there is a bigger square of sides 12 cm four small squares of side x are cut out of this square to make a tray four squares are cut out of this bigger tray from its corners each such small square has its side x then when we will make tray from the remaining part of this bigger square its height would be equal to x the base length would be equal to 12 centimeter minus 2x and the other side length or you can say its breadth is also equal to 12 centimeter minus 2x so the volume of this tray may be calculated by length multiply with breadth multiply with height length is 12 centimeter minus 2x where x is also in centimeter multiply with the same length which is breadth here 12 minus 2x multiply with height that is x here so we will get what 12 minus 2x whole square multiply with x we will have to expand this expression that is 144 minus 48x plus 4x square multiply it with x then again multiplying the factors 4x cube minus 48x square plus 144x that is the volume expression in terms of x we will use the derivative method 
to get the maxima of volume such that dv by dx would be equal to 0 for the maximum volume of this tray. First get its derivative or dv by dx would be equal to 12x square minus 96x plus 144. So this value would be equal to 0 for the maximum volume of this tray. So solve this equation 12x square minus 96x plus 144 is equal to 0. Get the common part 12 out of this complete expression then you would get x square minus 8x plus 12 is equal to 0. Then we will factorize this term x square minus 2x minus 6x plus 12 is equal to 0. Then x part is common x minus 2. Then minus 6 is common x minus 2 is equal to 0. Then x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x minus 6 is equal to 0. There are two values of x for the maxima and minima condition of this volume. So x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 6. In the given four options both the values x is equal to 2 cm and 6 cm are given here. Making a tray out of a bigger square with x as the side of smaller squares cut out from its corners. The total length, the total length of bigger square side is 12 cm. Here in the second option for 6 cm if the size of smaller square is 6 cm side square then the base width 12 minus 2x would be equal to 0 where the base width or the base length is equal to 0 in that condition volume would be equal to 0 so the correct answer of this problem may be only x is equal to 2 cm or in other way you can calculate its double derivative and then put the values of x as 2 cm and 6 cm for the maxima value the double derivative will have negative value so you will find it as your correct answer so correct answer of this problem is option 2 that is 2 cm the last problem of this episode problem number 15 Two runners A and B start running from diametrically opposite points on a circular track in the same direction. If A runs at a constant speed of 8 km per hour and B at a constant speed of 6 km per hour and A catches up with B in 30 minutes, what is the length of the track? Option 1, 1 km, option 2, 4 km, option 3, 3 km, option 4, 2 km. Friends, here is the last problem of this episode that is problem number 15. In this problem, two runners A and B starts running from diametrically opposite points of a circular track. Circular track is here. Diametrically opposite points are like that. A starts from this point and B starts from this point. Both starts running in the same direction. In the same direction means if A starts running in clockwise direction, B also starts running in the clockwise direction. If A runs at constant speed of 8 km per hour, it has 8 km per hour speed. B has constant speed of 6 km per hour. If A catches up with B in 30 minutes, if A catches up B in 30 minutes, the time to catch B by A is given as 30 minutes, but it is in minutes, so we will change it in hour. That is half 
hour. The initial distance between A and B on this track would be equal to half of 2 pi r that is half of the periphery of this circular track. So, with the relative speed of A and B, first we will calculate relative speed of A with respect to B. It would be equal to 8 km per hour the speed of A minus speed of B that is 8 minus 6 in km per hour so 2 km per hour. With this relative speed they will have to cover the distance which is half of its periphery that is 2 pi r by 2 or directly we can write here pi r. The time to travel this distance with this relative speed is given as half hour. We will have to find out the length of this track. So, first we will write here the formula distance is equals to speed multiply with time. Distance is given here pi r. Speed is given here the relative speed 2 km per hour. The time to catch is half hour. So, multiply it with half. We will get what? 1 km. This is the distance half of the periphery that is pi r equal to 1 km. But the total length of this circular track would be equal to 2 pi r. So, just double of this quantity 2 pi r, the length of the track would be equal to 2 kilometers. So, here is our answer. The correct answer of this problem is option 4, 2 kilometer. Friends, you can download this paper along with its answer key from the Google Drive link given in the description below. Keep practicing. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Please subscribe this channel and tap on the bell icon so that you can get notifications. Thank you.